Hi guys, back with another video for you today. Today I want to talk to you about a new fragrance house, indie niche fragrance house based out of the San Francisco Bay Area, close to where I live. The fragrance house is called Bo Quan, and they are launching with three fragrances. One of them is called Iristrio, this right here. Comes in this box, I'll show you the fragrance once I open it up. And there's also two other fragrances, Tuberai and Mimosun. You're also gonna have a chance at winning one of three sample sets if you are a subscriber of this channel worldwide. So we're gonna do all that coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, interviews with perfumers, lists and discovering new brands, and participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed to this channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And yes, Bo Quan is a brand new indie niche fragrance house based out of San Francisco Bay Area. And uh, they are launching with three fragrances. The fragrances all are inspired by flowers, but they are targeting men because the brand decided to create fragrances inspired by flowers for men because they thought that floral fragrances generally tend to be too feminine. So they created a brand specifically focusing on a flower for each fragrance and then also making them masculine for men to love. So there's three fragrances that they're launching with, one based on iris, one based on tuberose, and one based on mimosa, which comes like this in this box. They retail for $175 for a 50 ml. Samples are also sold for $6 on the website for each uh, fragrance. They are currently shipping only to North America, USA, Canada, and Mexico, but specifically for this giveaway, they will ship worldwide the samples. There's also a discount code, and you can, uh, if you wanted to pick up anything from the website, such as the 50 ml bottles, you would just use the code LFSG10 to get 10% off. So let's get right to it. The three fragrances again are Iristrio, Tuberai, and uh, also Mimosan. First fragrance, Iristrio, is my favorite out of the three. I felt it was very, very mass appealing, even though it's very indie niche. I think uh, men will also really like this one over the other two. That's my opinion, but I kind of think this is true or correct. And Iristrio is created by Neil Peters, who you, if you've been watching on this channel, uh, a fragrance brand by the name of Miris Fine Fragrance. Neil Peters is the man behind this indie niche fragrance house, and he created Iristrio for Boquan. So that's, it comes in this box. I was telling when I met with the owner of the brand, I was telling him, I go, I love your branding. It's very simple, very easy, very minimalistic, and the graphics are all great as well. It's just right to the point, you know? It's like, the, the name of the brand up here, the name of the fragrance, and of course all the important information down here and back here. These are EDP concentration and they are 50 ml for, one, um, for $175 as I said, and there's that discount code if you want to pick up a bottle, you can use that as well. But the, uh, the packaging is this and this lifts off of the box and uh, the logo I absolutely love. It's very, I don't know, futuristic to me. I think of uh, like electronic music when I see this. But anyway, I also like the coloring, the black, dark. It's very, very cool for me. So basically what they've done is taken the, the, the flower, the word iris, and they combine it with something else. And here they've added trio. That's why it's called iris trio or iris trio. So I guess the trio is due to the three upward petals of the iris flower. So that's according to how they came up with the name. And for this one, the notes are cedar, sandalwood, iris, amber, orris root. So those are the dominant notes for this one. And let's open this box up and I'll show you what it looks like. And that's the fragrance right there, iris trio. I, I told the, the owner of the brand, I said, you know what, this is really, really cool packaging. I love the square bottle. I love the, the name of the way it's on the bottle, of course. Very right to the point and simple. Simplistic, minimalistic, but kind of dark, kind of gothic a little bit, because the, the logo kind of also reminds me a little bit of some gothic or video game-ish kind of, uh, 
um, graphics. So let's smell Iristrio. I've sampled all these, I've worn them, and Iristrio is my favorite, as I mentioned. And this one, again, it's really, really, the notes are just some of my favorite notes. So let's go ahead and spray this one, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. And this one, again, is uh, created by Neil Peters. So it's um, a person I know, I mean, a perfumer I know in person who's from the San Francisco Bay Area. So this one immediately starts off woody. You got a lot of cedar and a lot of sandalwood, but the, the iris is really there. It's powdery and uh, also the orris is buttery. So it is powdery, but you're already used to powdery fragrances if you like fragrances like Dior Homme. Um, now Dior Homme is very, very popular men's fragrance in the designer world. And if you like Dior Homme, you're going to like this one because this one I find uh, more masculine than Dior Homme. And Dior Homme has that lipsticky vibe, whereas this one does not really have that to me. It's very, very woody uh, and it's also very, very irisy and buttery from the orris root, which is a very, very in expensive ingredient. And I absolutely love this one. Really, really love it. It's again, not very lipsticky, if at all. Uh, I do pick up a little traces of the iris that kind of acts like it, but it's not necessarily lipsticky to me. Dior Homme line collection is more lipsticky to me than this, but this is very, very irisy, very orisy, and of course very, very woody with the traces of amber in here. It's truly, truly gorgeous. I absolutely love this one, and I could see myself putting this one to great use. Um, I think more appropriate for winter, but fall as well and cold, uh, you know, cool sp spring uh, days and of course uh, very cool um, summer days. And the next one, we're going to go with the fragrance Tuberai. And Tuberai is this one right here. So Tuberai is created by Tomu Inaba. And if you've been watching my videos, uh, you saw that I did a review for a moth by Zoologist Perfumes. So the perfumer for moth is the same perfumer for Tuberai. So here we've got, again, the tuberose word. And of course, they've taken tuberose and added A-I-I. -I. In Japanese, it means love. So Tomu is a Japanese perfumer. And so basically, they've come up with Tuberai. So the love for tuberose, supposedly. I think that's what uh, I get from this one. So this one I really enjoyed. Um, it is tuberose, but it is also very, very indie niche smelling. So you know you're getting a very edgy kind of a fragrance compared to anything else you've smelled. This one has notes of tobacco, frankincense, tuberose, leather, and sandalwood. Now this one is great again. I really like this one, but it wasn't my favorite out of the three. Um, this one comes off very green. Uh, the notes around the tuberose give it a very green vibe to me. It starts off with that tobacco. So it, it, you know that tuberose is a white flower, of course, if you're uh, at all familiar with flowers. And of course, the tuberose kind of does come off feminine in fragrances or perfumes. But here it's very, very masculine because the tobacco, the frankincense, the leather, the sandalwood, give it this like masculinity to the tuberose. And it's also very green, like I said, it's a very, very green smelling tuberose. And I think it's because of the other notes surrounding the tuberose. But really lovely, it's really lovely. If you wanna explore uh, white flowers and you're kind of like not really into it because they come off very feminine, I think tuberai would be one to try. This one right here. Give it a try and see what you think because it's a very masculine tuberose fragrance but still very unisex. Personally, to me, all fragrances are pretty unisex. It just depends on some become more floral, and I guess uh, we know florals to be uh, for women, but still, I've been enjoying floral fragrances a lot lately, a lot. And uh, uh, two years ago, I thought they were just a little on the more feminine side, but now I just absolutely love floral fragrances. And then last but not least, we have one called Mimosan, this one right here. So Mimosan takes the words Mimosa and Sun and creates the word Mimosan for this third fragrance from Bo Quan. So this is created by Theo Belmas. Now this perfumer I am not familiar with whatsoever. So I learned uh, from uh, this brand, this 
new perfumer. Maybe he's not new. I'm not really too familiar with him. I've never seen his face come up in any fragrances. I've looked up on in the databases and so forth, but he could have a resume of perfumes that I'm not too familiar with. So, Mimosan, and this is inspired by a hot day under the sun and according to, uh, I mean, sitting under a mimosa tree. And it's funny because I was in the south of France uh, after Exxon's and we were sitting under a tree and I was looking at the flowers on there because they're these tiny little orange uh, flowers that look like little sun, sh sun like the sun. Uh, and I was like, whoa, that's got to be a mimosa flower because, you know, the south of France is known for mimosa. They even have a mimosa festival and all that good stuff. So I was like, okay, this is how or what the mimosa flower looks like. So to me, personally, mimosa flower is not my favorite floral fragrance. Uh, it's one that I like the least. So this one was a bit challenging, especially for the fact that it starts off with grapefruit. grapefruit. It has civet. Um, civet is an animalic uh, note, of course. Then you also have mimosa, Sichuan pepper, and musk. So this is the most animalic out of all three of these. And the, the most challenging, but you know what? I didn't experience too much um, animalic touches on my chemistry, on my skin, so it might act more animalic on others, but again, that's Mimosan. So let's go ahead and spray this one. It's interesting, once you familiarize yourself with Mimosa, the way it smells, you can smell Mimosa a mile away. It's so unique compared to other flowers. It's totally different. Um, and I'm not talking about, you know, mimosas that you drink on uh, Sundays and Saturdays for brunch. It's, it's, this is a flower. But you know what? It's, it's, it's actually, mimosa just really does look like sunshine. It's very, very sunny, bright, and happy. But it also has this, like, herbal touch to it, like a woody herbal touch to it. Because it's not typically a flower to me. It doesn't act like a flower. It's not a tuberose. It's not a rose. It's completely different. More to me, uh, perhaps, like closer to a lavender rather than like a, a rose or a tuberose or a gardenia or something. But this is actually, it's luscious, it smells luscious and that grapefruit at the top, the juicy grapefruit touch is gorgeous. Um, and then of course you have a little bit of that civet. Again on me it was not as animalic that I, I thought it was going to be, but perhaps on you, you might bring out the animalic touches. Then again, I also wasn't sweating, so sometimes when I sweat a little more, the animalic touches come out more. So it's been pretty cool here, thankfully. Uh, I, I might have a totally different experience with this one when it's hot out and I'm sweating. But it's actually very, very juicy, slight bit peppery and musky. It dries down pretty musky, which I like, but it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't too animalic of a musk. It was slightly clean. But the, the mimosa is also green on, uh, in this fragrance as well, just like the tuberose in Tuberai was also um, green. So I like it. I, it's nicely done. It's not my favorite, but it's just because I'm not the biggest fan of mimosa flowers. Um, who knows? Two years from now, I might like open up to a mimosa and be like, okay, um, um, I want nothing but mimosa fragrances. But currently, it's just not my thing. It just tastes change and uh, your environment changes and you know things click with you more than others but currently mimosa is not my favorite as i said but it's truly a wonderful fragrance i had some friends test this one out as well and they really like it because some of the friends that i had to test out they loved mimosa all right these are the three fragrances again iristrio tuberai and mimosan from boquan here in the san francisco bay area guys have you tried Boquan fragrances. Are you familiar with this house? Are you curious to try the fragrances? Which one of these three sounds the best to you? If you want to participate in the giveaway to win samples of all three, three winners worldwide, please let me know which of the three sounds the best to you. And when you let me know which one sounds the best to you, please let me know what your favorite current fragrance from that particular flower is to qualify. And also please put down your country. Don't forget to do this, otherwise you won't qualify. So let's say you picked Iristrio as your favorite, the one that sounds the best to you. Please let me know what your favorite Iris fragrance is. So if you pick Tuberai as your favorite, please let me know which uh, is your favorite Tuberose fragrance. And if you pick Mimosan, please let me know which is your favorite Mimosa fragrance. Do that, 
and also please put your country so that you qualify. All right, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. If you want to find out more information about Bo Quan fragrances, I have a link in the info box. You can check them out. Of course, don't forget to use the discount code. It's LFSG10, 10% off all bottles. Other than that, thank you for watching. Uh, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.